In this video, we will learn how to work with custom connectors as lesson 3 in the second module, Working with Canvas App. Let's begin our lesson. In this lesson, we will discuss the characteristics of custom connectors. After that, we will discuss the prerequisites and the types of custom connectors that we can use in Power Apps. At the end of the lesson, we will have a demo for creating custom connectors. First, we have to know that the custom connectors are scoped to individual environments. This means that they are configured in the context of one environment, and must be added to each environment to use them. So they are only available to apps and flows within that environment. Custom connectors are configured to allow use of APIs that aren't covered by the public connectors. Custom connectors can be shared, so the other users in your organization can start consuming custom connectors. In exporting an app from the source environment to the target environment, you have to review the connectors that are used. And if you are using custom connectors, then they will need to be recreated barrier to import in the target environment or must be included in the common data service solution and users must create their own connection to the custom connector. You have created custom connectors if you have the required license. As all custom connectors need either per user, per app, per month license, or per user, per month for all users using this app. You can create custom connector from different ways. You can create custom connector from blank. You can create from open API definition and from Postman collection. Now we will go for a demo to create custom connector. In this demo, we will explore custom connectors types and we will learn how to create custom connector. We will use creating custom connector from ABI and then we will use custom connector within the app. Let's go for our demo. We will create custom connector from make bar app site in the data section custom connectors you can create custom connectors from blank create from Azure service or if you have your own ABI file you can create custom connector from it or create custom connector if you have URL for your ABI that you want to connect to and the last way from the postman collection in this demo we will create custom connector using import and open API from URL. I will create custom connector for the cocktail database using its API cocktail I use the API URL import continue in this page, we have the component of building custom connector. The connector information in the general tab, such as its icon and the host of the API. The second component or the second step is security, in which you will secure your API, and the definition in which you describe the API and define the custom connectors. And the last step is testing the connector. Let's start the first step by setting the connector information like the connector icon and you have to choose an icon related to the connector that you will create in my case i will create custom connectors that connect to cocktail abi so let's put an icon and the icon background color if you want to put background color behind the icon i will do nothing here i want the icon to be transparent and the description for your custom connector Connect via on premises in my case no. HTTPS or HTTP call, in my case I will use HTTPS. The host, the base URL for my host without HTTPS. This is the first step. The connector uses the API host and the base URL to determine how to call the API. Then the security of my custom connector. There are several options available for authentication in custom connectors. Here you will find no authentication, basic authentication, ABI key, open authentication, OAuth. I will choose ABI key. 
In the API key, you will determine some parameters, the parameter label, parameter name, and the parameter location. The parameter name that used when the user wanted to make a connection while using the application. They will put in information here to authenticate. So choose a meaningful name so that when the user connecting to your application, they will put ABI key here. For example, ABI key. And the parameter name, which will be the header of the parameter itself in your ABI. For example, let's set it authorization and the location in the header. Once you have an ABI with authenticated access, the next thing to do is to describe your ABI so that your Power Apps can communicate with your ABI. We will do in the definition step. The definition page of the custom connectors gives you a lot of options for defining how your connector functions and how it is exposed in your Power Apps. The first part, the actions. What the actions? or the operations that the user will perform using this connector. For example, in this connector, we will read the data using this connector. So let's add an action to get the information from our cocktail DB. New action. In the summary, write a short description about what the connector do. And in the description, describe your connector. Describe what will your connector do. In my example, it will return information about cocktails the operation ID here we will get the information of the cocktail from the API so I will set the operation ID to be get cocktail this operation ID we will use in our formula to get the information from the cocktail database get cocktail now we need to define the request import from sample I will use the get verb here I will insert the URL that makes the request invert. Now we need to define the response that displays information based on the HTTP response that is included in the ABI definition. Click here, import from assemble. I use this. copy just paste here and click on board as you see it loaded all the properties that found in the response then the validation area that displays any issues that are detected in the ABI definition make sure to check this area before you save a connector this is all what we need to create a custom connector before testing we have to create the connector first create the connector saving custom connector if is if there are any errors it will list here custom connector has been successfully created let's test the connector test the connector for example I will search for the first for the first letter of the cocktail test operation it work correctly it returned the information about the cocktails here now I will go to four bar apps create canvas app from blank cocktail to use this connector all what you have to do here in the data section search for the custom connector cocktail as you see, it will ask for the ABI keys that we created in the security of the ABI. I will enter the ABI. It loaded. The custom connector is loaded now in your app and you can use it. I will insert a gallery. Assign the connector. Edit the field list. In the item cocktail dot get C the drink is okay. 
in the image this item dot sum string sum edit the field make the title str drink the subtitle to be an instruction I have to type I will run the app as you see it returns the data from the ABI using our custom connector that we just created for the cocktail database back to our lesson we finished our lesson in this lesson we have learned what are the custom connectors and what are the types of creating a custom connectors and how to create custom connectors and use in power apps thank you